Okay, this is a close-up of my fly cutter. Um, I use a 7mm shank, um, actually an old ejector pin, but you could use silver steel, I'm sure it would be fine. An old ejector pin is H13 steel nitrided, so that's really tough stuff. Um, so the length overall is um, 40 or 50 millimeters. You can see the amount in the collet. Um, there's a 3 millimeter diameter hole drilled through most of the length, which takes a push rod or a plunger, um, which pushes the actual cutter right tight inside there, and the grub screw is at the other end inside the collet to push that push rod or plunger down and that way you don't need to have a space at the end of the shank for the grub screw the shank can end just below the cutter point and it's just a little broken um, old broken end mill a uh, three millimeter end mill diamond ground uh, to the angle of 30 degrees aside in order to ascertain the uh, fly cutter diameter, I know the shank diameter here is 7 millimeters, and so I can measure this overall distance here at 8.57 and then do the maths and I know that the effective cutting diameter is 10.14. The uh, thread mill fly cutter single point fly cutter is ground 30 degrees on each side with about a uh, 10 degree top rake and about a 4 degree side clearance and then backed off in this area to clear the, um, the diameter of the hole and then a very small flat lapped on the front with a diamond lap maybe about uh, 0.1 wide, about 4 power wide, because that would just break off if it was left sharp anyway, so better to have it as a cutting edge.